वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन इलेक्ट्रिकल नेटवर्क एंड दिस एग्जाम्पल्स दैट आई सॉल्व बाई नेटवर्क थियरम्स यू कैन ऑब्जर्व मैनी नेटवर्क थियरम्स दैट आई हैव एक्सप्लेन इन माई प्ले लिस्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लाइक आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन यू के बी एल के सी एल वोल्टेज डिवाइडर रोल करंट डिवाइडर रोल नोडल एनालिसिस मैश एनालिसिस नॉर्टन सीयरम थेविनस थियरम मिलमेन्स थियरम राइट सो देर आर मैनी नेटवर्क थियरम्स दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन बाई यूजिंग विच वी विल सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम्स इन दिस सेशन सो लेट अस सी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हियर सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व वी आर डील विथ टू कंसिडर अ सर्किट विच इज दिस एंड फॉर दिस सर्किट the value of v0 that we are delivered to identify so v0 that is happening over here across 1 kilo ohm resistor right so if you observe this circuit then at first look you will be observing that there are loops and if you solve those loops then you can be able to easily calculate v0 right so here let us consider three different loops let us say this is having current i let us say this is having current i1 let us say this is having current i2 and you can observe i have considered all the loops in clockwise direction right now if you observe carefully this loop i1 so this loop i1 is having current source of 2 milli ampere and as it is having current source of 2 milli ampere right you can directly say this i1 that is equals to 2 milli ampere so from loop i1 i can say that i1 that is equals to 2 milli ampere and if you see this loop i2 then this loop i2 is having current source of 6 milli ampere and that is happening in opposite direction to the direction of i2 you see i2 is happening in this direction and i1 is Uh, and this 6 milli ampere is happening in this direction so i2 that is of minus 6 milli ampere that i can say right now all we need to find is we need to find the value of i by applying kvl in loop once you have the value of i all you can do is you can find v0 that is 1k into i which is entering from plus minus i1 right so let us find value of i by applying kvl in loop i so you see we have one voltage source which is happening from minus to plus direction in loop i right so that is plus 4 and that is equals to now you see with this 1 kilo ohm resistor current is i so i can say that 1 into i means i plus now see with this 1 kilo ohm current is i minus i1 due to loop i so 1 into i minus i1 that i can say now you can observe that 4 is equals to 2i and i1 is 2 milli ampere so minus 2 that i need to write so i can say that this 2 will go on other side so 2i is equals to 6 means i is equals to 3 milli ampere right so here answer is 3 and all this calculation that is there in terms of milli ampere right now simply we can identify v0 so v0 is resistance into current and you see here plus minus polarity is there so i is entering from here that should be plus so here i and you see i1 is there in opposite direction so minus i1 that i need to write now r is of 1k into i that is 3 Minus i one, that is two, so I can say one into three minus two is one, so this is one voltage. See this resistance that is there in terms of kilo ohm. This current is there in terms of milli, so kilo and milli will cancel each other. So you can write in terms of digits, right? As I have written it over here in equation C one. So this is how simply we can solve electrical network by using KVL. As you can see that. in this question let me give you one more interesting question now you can observe here 
क्वेश्चन इज टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ आई वन एंड आई टू सो आई वन दैट इज बीन अ करंट जनरेटेड बाई एट वोल्टेज सोर्स एंड आई टू दैट इज करंट पासिंग थ्रू दिस टू ओम रजिस्टर राइट नाउ इफ यू सी दिस नेटवर्क देन इन दिस नेटवर्क दिस एट वोल्टेज सोर्स दैट इज कनेक्टेड अक्रॉस ऑल दिज एलिमेंट्स यू सी सो ऑल आई कैन से इज हियर if you want to find the value of current right then that is simply as per v is equals to ir so i can say that across 2 ohm resistor you can say that that voltage is 8 is equals to i2 into resistance of 2 ohm so i2 that will be 8 by 2 means 4 ampere right and you see polarity is plus minus so plus to minus that is how current will go right now we want to calculate i1 so to calculate i1 we should know the value of current passing through this branch also so if you want current through 4 ohm resistor as per polarity plus minus right then simply this voltage source is across 4 ohm resistor then 8 is equals to let us say this is i dash so i dash into 4 so i can have the value of i dash that is 8 by 4 means 2 ampere so now i got the value of current i dash now we have current in this branch also i2 is also known so simply we can apply nodal analysis over here so if you apply kvl at node a then entering current is equals to leaving current you see entering current is i1 and 2 ampere so i'm saying that i1 plus 2 and that is equals to leaving current so you see leaving current is i dash and i2 so i dash plus i2 so i1 plus 2 that is equals to i dash that is 2 plus i2 that is 4 so this 2 will get cancel and i can say that i1 that is of 4 ampere so now i got the value of i1 right so by simply applying nodal analysis we can easily calculate value of current as you have seen that in this question let me give you one more interesting question so that will resolve your understanding further more so now you can observe we are having this circuit and in this circuit we have to find the value of i1 i2 and voltage v so i1 is happening with this branch i2 is there with this branch and v is across 2 ampere current source so if you observe this circuit carefully then here you see we have two voltage source connected in series with each other right and when you have two voltage source connected in series with each other it should be algebraic sum of voltage source now you see it is connected with the polarity minus plus and minus plus if you go in this direction so it will just get added so minus plus minus plus will be 8 plus 8 16 so let me redraw that here minus plus minus plus means minus n plus that is how it is there and 8 plus 8 16 voltage that we have right now here we have current i1 and let me connect this circuit further so now you see what i have done is i have replaced this 8 series with 8 voltage source as 16 voltage with polarity right now we want to find the value of i1 i2 and v so if you observe this 16 voltage that is happening across this 2 ohm resistor right and its polarity is plus minus like this right so as it is happening across this 2 ohm resistor i can directly say that 16 is equals to i2 into resistance 2 so we'll be having the value of i2 that is 16 by 2 means 8 ampere right so i got the value of i2 that is 8 ampere now you observe 
that this 2 ampere current source that is inducing current of 2 ampere over here right so if you apply nodal analysis at this node then you will be having the value of i1 right as in this wing we have current 2 ampere in this wing we have current 8 ampere so in this wing current i1 can be calculated by nodal analysis or you can say that kcl so entering current that is i1 and this 2 ampere and leaving current that is i2 so i can say that i1 is equals to i2 is 8 minus 2 so that will be 6 ampere so now i got the value of i1 that is 6 ampere so now is as if we want to calculate value of voltage v right then all you can do is you can apply loop over here right so let us apply kvl in this loop so if you apply KVL in this loop, then you see we have voltage source of 16 voltage that is happening from minus 2 plus. So I can say that that is plus 16 and you see we have this source across which voltage is V and that is happening from plus 2 minus. So I can write that as minus V over here, right? And that is equals to IR where this is having current 2 ampere and resistance of 2 ohm so I can say that this will be 2 into 2 and you see this loop current that is happening in this direction and 2 ampere current that is happening in opposite direction so this should be minus right and now we need to find the value of V so you see this 16 and this 4 will come over here so plus 4 and this v will go on other side so it will be v so i can say that v is equals to 20 voltage so polarity is very essential i have seen students are making mistake here so many times like they will be writing that 2 into 2 but you see loop is there in this direction so it should be minus 2 into 2 right and then you can have value of v so i hope it is clear to you now how we can apply all those theorems along with the polarity all you need to do is you just need to do practice along with this playlist of network theory definitely you will be able to solve all the questions related network theory right so just solve questions with the polarity prospectives which i explain over here in this playlist thank you so much for watching this video